Zahra is a trained community health worker. Two illnesses she sees commonly are diabetes and hypertension. Both diseases cannot be spread between people, but can affect anyone. They share some of the same risk factors and can sometimes occur together, causing a very dangerous combination, which can increase the risk of a heart attack, stroke, kidney disease, or blindness. Today, she is visiting Noor, who is 45 years old, and her husband, Abdullah, who is 55. Noor has not been feeling well for several months. She has been very tired and has little energy. She is very hungry and thirsty all the time and has to urinate frequently. Zahra asks her some questions to understand her situation better. Noor has lost some weight recently and occasionally has blurred vision. Zahra is very concerned that Noor may be suffering from diabetes and tells her to attend the local clinic immediately. The doctor tests her blood and confirms that she has type 2 diabetes. This means it's harder for the hormone insulin to drive a sugar called glucose into the body's cells. This sugar can then build up to high levels in the blood, which can cause dangerous complications. He gives Noor some medication to help control the disease. In some patients, this medication can cause side effects. If she experiences any side effects, she shouldn't stop taking the medicine, but must return to the clinic. Zahra asks Noor how she is. She still has the same symptoms, but also a numb feeling in her feet. She has tried to take her medication, but sometimes she forgets. Zahra tells Noor that it's very important for her to take her medication regularly to prevent her becoming more ill. She should eat more fresh fruit, vegetables, whole grains like bulgur wheat, brown rice and oats, pulses or beans like chickpeas and lentils, unsalted nuts, fresh fish, and poultry like a chicken. She should avoid sugar, sugary foods, and starchy foods, which contain a lot of carbohydrate, like rice, potatoes, and white bread. As glucose doesn't just come from sugar, she should also eat fewer fatty fried foods. And when thirsty, always drink water, not sugary drinks. Zahra helps Noor to develop a diet plan. It's important for her to eat regular meals to prevent hypoglycemia, which is a dangerous drop in blood sugar that can occur when taking some types of medication. Exercise like walking for 30 to 60 minutes every day or lifting heavy household objects will also improve her health and control of her blood sugar levels. Zahra weighs Noor and develops an exercise schedule to help her lose weight. She shows her how to use a daily diabetes log to help her care for herself. Zahra examines Noor's feet and finds some ulcers and cracked skin. She recognizes this as a complication of diabetes and immediately refers her back to the health clinic. During the visit, Abdullah tells Zahra he has two brothers who suffer from high blood pressure and asks if he should be worried about this too. Zahra takes his blood pressure
and finds a high reading. Further readings after 5 and 30 minutes remain high. Abdullah may be suffering from hypertension, which can lead to a stroke or heart attack, so Zahra refers him to the health clinic immediately. The doctor finds that Abdullah still has high blood pressure and diagnoses him with hypertension. He gives him medication to take daily. If he suffers any unusual side effects, he must return to the clinic immediately. The doctor is glad Zahra checked Abdullah's blood pressure, as hypertension rarely displays any symptoms and can go unnoticed for a long time. Zahra explains that hypertension and diabetes can be caused by the same factors, like an unhealthy diet and a lack of physical activity. Hypertension can also be caused by excessive alcohol, which means more than two alcoholic drinks per day. Smoking greatly increases the risk of dangerous complications for people with hypertension or diabetes, so it's very important for him to stop smoking. He should lose some weight by eating smaller portions and consume less salt, as it can cause high blood pressure. Zahra recommends the same healthy diet as she did for his wife, including fewer high-fat dairy foods, as these can cause a buildup of a fat called cholesterol in the body. High levels of cholesterol can cause heart disease or a stroke. She also recommends less dried meat and dried fish, as these can contain lots of salt. He should exercise and go for daily walks with Noor. Abdullah can monitor his condition and keep a record to show the doctor on future visits. Zahra asks how Noor and Abdullah are. They both feel better and are much happier. They are taking their medication regularly eating a healthier diet and drinking plenty of water. Abdullah has stopped smoking and they are both getting regular exercise. Zahra examines Noor's feet and finds they have almost completely healed. Noor should still check her feet daily, first thing in the morning or before she goes to sleep at night looking for injuries, color change, infection, and ulcers, feeling for unusual heat or coldness, and keeping her toenails neatly cut. Abdullah's blood pressure is now healthy. It's very important for both Abdullah and Noor to attend a monthly review at the health clinic. Then, every three months, once their conditions are well controlled, Diabetes and hypertension can be dangerous conditions, but with care, they can be controlled, allowing people to live full and healthy lives.